Hi everyone, in this video I am going to show you how to upload WordPress website to cPanel. So let's get started. Before uploading your WordPress website to cPanel, you must have the backup of your WordPress website. I will give the link of the video tutorial in the video description below with the help of which you can easily take the backup of your WordPress website. So at first we are going to upload the files of our WordPress website and then we are going to upload the database. So in order to upload your WordPress website files to the cPanel, from the cPanel main page just scroll down to file section and from the file section we are going to click on file manager and from here we are going to click on public HTML. If you want to upload your website directly on your main domain then you can upload your files here but I do not want to upload my website on the main domain so I am going to create a folder here for my website. So from the top I am going to click on new folder and then here I am going to give it a name and then we are going to click on create new folder and here is the folder that we have just created so I will double click on it and as you can see that our folder is currently empty and now we are going to upload our WordPress website files here. So in order to upload the files from the top just click on upload button and then from here we are going to select our file from the computer. So we will click on select file button and then we are going to select our file. So I will select it and then we will click on open. So in this way our website files will start uploading to our cPanel account. Once your files are uploaded just click on go back button and here we are going to see the file that we have just uploaded and now we are going to extract it. So to extract the file we are going to click on it and then from the top we are going to click on extract then again click on extract files. Now close this window and then click on reload from the top. So our files are now extracted into the folder and now we are going to move this folder to our main directory. So I will double click on it. Then from the top we are going to click on select all and then click on move. Now we are going to remove this name and then click on move files. So all the files will be moved to the main directory. Now click on one level up. Now all the files of our website are here. So our files are uploaded to our cPanel account and now we are going to create a new database for our website. So we will go back to our cPanel main page again and then we will scroll down to databases section and from here we are going to click on MySQL databases and now in order to create a new database just enter the name of the database and then click on create database. Click on go back. So database is now created and now we are going to create a user for the database. So we will scroll down to user section and from here we are going to add a new user. Here we are going to give it a name, password. Please save this username and password because we are going to use this in the next step. Now click on create user. and now our user is created. So we will click on go back. Now scroll down to the end of the page and now we are going to add user to database. So I will select the user from here. Here it is new user and then select the database from here. And then click on add button. Now click on all privileges and then click on make changes. That's it. Our user is now connected to the database. Now we will go back to cPanel main page again. We will scroll down to PHP MyAdmin. Here it will show us all the databases that are available on our web hosting. But we are going to select the one that we have just created. So I will just click on it. As you can see that no tables are found in database because we have just created this one. So we are going to import the tables from our database backup. So from the top menu click on import. 
Now click on choose file and select the database from your computer. Database file will be dot SQL file. So I will select it from here and then click on open. And then from the bottom I will click on go. And as you can see that our database is started to upload. It will take some time depending on the size of the database. So when the database of our website is uploaded, then we are going to click on this texture button from the top. And here you will see all the tables of your database. From the database tables, we are going to click on WP underscore options. And then at first we are going to change our site URL and then we are going to change our home URL. So in order to change the site URL, just click on it. So I will change the website address to our new folder. Simply you can copy your domain name and paste it here. As I have uploaded my website to the folder, so I am going to add the folder name here. So I will copy it from here. Then go to the second one. And paste it here. That's it, our work is done with the database. Now we will go back to our file section again. And then from the file section, we are going to edit this wp-config file. So I will click on it and then click on edit. Then again click on edit. Now scroll down a little bit and here you will see all the database configurations. So from the databases section, I am going to copy database from here and then we are going to paste it here then we are going to copy the username and paste it here and now we are going to add the password here so now your database is properly configured your wordpress website so now if i go to the folder that we have created on our cpanel So this is how you can upload your WordPress website to cPanel. Thank you so much for watching the video tutorial. Please like the video 